This video is going to be a lot more esoteric than my other ones, and I apologize for that. I like to try to make videos that I can back up everything with facts and studies, and this one isn't going to be like that, so sorry. Um, I want to make a video about the movie The Secret, which is so popular now. Um, I saw this movie The Secret when it was first posted for free on Google uh, Video almost a year ago, and I uh, thought it was a great movie. Um, but I also thought that it missed one very important point, and, you know, I thought certainly you know, someone's going to point out this important thing that, that the movie The Secret is missing. By the way, the movie The Secret, it's about manifesting reality. And now it's been almost a year since this movie came out, and we've had hundreds of related videos and uh, many wise people commenting on the movie The Secret. And yet, I still haven't heard anyone point out this one issue that uh, needs to be clarified from the movie The Secret. Um, in the movie The Secret, they talk about Aladdin's lamp and cultural stories where someone is granted three wishes. But they don't explain that correctly. And first of all, let me talk about folk stories and myths which recur around the world. Uh, these folk stories are a tremendous source of wisdom, of hidden wisdom, because a folk story is not a story told by one person, it's a story told by an entire society. These stories are passed down for generations and told by hundreds of thousands of people, and they're modified slightly by each person until you basically distill the wisdom of the entire culture. So the story is not being told by one person, it's actually being told by the collective mind of an entire society and there's an enormous amount of wisdom, of hidden wisdom, in these folk stories. So the story of Aladdin's lamp, uh, or similar stories where someone is granted three wishes, they do recur around the world, but they generally have a, an unhappy ending. Um, the monkey's paw is a good example of a European, it, it's based on a European folk story, uh, which is the same theme. And the the moral of most of these three wish folk stories is that you should be very careful of what you wish for because you just might get it. You see, we all manifest reality based on a deluded view of the world, and if you are manifesting reality based on a deluded world view, then all you're going to do is increase your own delusion. You're basically going to increase your karma. Um, and that's what everyone does. Uh, as, as the movie The Secret points out, Buddha said, all that you are is what you have thought. How do you think we got here? If, if manifesting was so great, then why are we trapped in what's, uh, you know, a fairly restrictive and often, for many people, unhappy world? they got here by manifesting reality. And if you learn to manifest reality, but you don't learn a correct world view, then you're just going to manifest a deluded uh, world and an unhappy world. Uh, you're just going to increase your karma. And the movie The Secret really misses this. Uh, in fact, they even talk about, oh, you can manifest a sports car and you can manifest money. Well, you know, look at these folk stories and look what happens to people who manifest money. It always ends badly. And that's based on the collective wisdom of, of an entire society. They subconsciously know that if you wish for things based on a deluded world view, then you will just cause more problems for yourself. So what should you manifest? Again, look at folk stories. Uh, one of the best examples is the story of Solomon. Solomon was offered a wish. He could have anything in the world that he wanted, but he turned down money and power, and he asked for wisdom instead. These folk stories uh, generally tell us that the only thing you should manifest is wisdom or aiding other people. If you manifest a world based on anything else, you will just increase your karma and you will just cause greater suffering for yourself. 
But the wonderful thing is that we can choose to manifest wisdom, and then this wisdom can finally help us to escape the delusions which have trapped us for so long.